What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna try to get through this video as quick as I can because the bugs are flying in my ear, in my nose, my mouth, and it's just brutal. So <laughs> please bear with me. So in my last video, I talked about going to my local dealership. Shout out to Coyote Creek. I picked up two suppressors and the guys were like, hey, you might wanna check out this gun. It might tickle your fancy. And I was like, show me the gun, show me the gun. And it's this guy right here. It's the new Bodyguard 2.0 by Smith & Wesson. The guys gave it to me, held it, I racked it a couple times. I'm like, oh man, this feels really good for a micro pistol. And I was like, I'm kind of digging this feel. And I said, you know what? Let me get it. So for $449, I got the Bodyguard 2.0. Look at that micro pistol right there. <laughs> That's wild. So in the box, obviously there's uh, an extra mag. There's a lock that nobody uses, a sticker, instructions, all that good stuff. <clears throat> uh, definitely just swallowed a bug. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> all right, so for this video, I wanna do kind of the first shots uh, through the Bodyguard 2.0. I'm gonna start with the 12 round magazine, which is fairly small. And just so you guys know, it is chambered in 380. I believe the barrel length is 2.75 inches, which is just bizarre. But the only thing I wish this was, I wish it was a nine mil because how, for how small and compact this is, which I know it wouldn't be this small and compact, but I can still dream, right? So uh, I got the 10 round magazine and 12. So I got 12 plus one. So a total of 13 rounds. Let's do a couple shots and just see how it feels. Okay, maybe it wasn't a full 12. So right off the bat, it is not as snappy as I would anticipate it would be, just being a micro pistol, but also it's chambered in 380. So that might have, you know, quite a bit to do with it being that it's not a nine mil, doesn't have all that blowback, but still a fairly nice pistol to shoot with not a lot of snap. The trigger so far is nice and crisp. There's barely any mush, almost little to no mush. And man, I'm, I'm really liking that trigger. Ooh, okay. So I will say what I'm getting, I am getting some blowback just slightly, but it's on the beaver tail end and it's kind of hurting this portion of my right hand. So Maybe I can adjust my grip a little bit better. I guess if I create a little gap between my right thumb and the palm of my left, I create a small gap where it's missing my right hand, which I guess that, that can work. Yeah, I mean, this feels good to shoot. Honestly, it's really sweet. It's got night sights, uh, the classic rear sight as well, uh, front and rear serrations. It's got pretty great pistol grip uh, all the way around, even up on the frame of the gun. So when you hold uh, your gun, your left thumb or non-dominant hand will rest on some grippy, which is nice. I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of it so far. So I have been shooting already and I have, I mean, like 12 rounds left. So I'm gonna try to make good use of that. But overall, like for 450 bucks, you could buy a micro pistol. And who is this pistol for? I mean, honestly, I do see a market for uh, men and women who don't want to carry a full-size gun and potentially want to leave, you know, as a truck gun, which it's not your normal, typical truck gun. Usually you find like SBRs or rifles or 300 blackout. But as far as it being so small and compact, you can leave this in your glove box. Hopefully it's locked. Uh, in your purse, in your man bag, and you have it on you. So to that, I say, it's for anybody who wants to protect themselves and their family when they're out and about. So the iron sights, the front sight, you can pick up super quickly, uh, pretty quick target acquisition. Rear sight kind of has that like, it's got this V-shape uh, sight that goes in on the top and on the back, it's got like a Springfield Armory, you know, U. Not the full you, but it's kind of like a little, boop, boop, boop. it's not terrible. It kind of, it gives you a good relief on the front sight when you're focusing. So, man, I like it. I'm going to grab these two. I think I'm preferring the non-extended magazine. So 10 total rounds plus one in the chamber. So 11 total. I don't know. I feel like the extended magazine makes the pistol grip almost a little too long. 
Kind of reminds me of the X Macro where the pistol grip is just a tad bit long for my taste, but still a pretty good gun. Same with this thing here, the Bodyguard 2.0. All right, let me load one more into the 10 round and we'll keep shooting. But that is the last of ammo. Anyway, I was at Coyote Creek and they're like, hey, yeah, here it is. Check it out. I checked it out. I loved it. I'm like, it feels great. It's going to be a good, just fun gun to shoot or I, maybe I do carry it. Now it's gave me one box of ammo. Didn't realize how fun it would be, so now I'm empty. So I should probably go get more ammo. <laughs> so let's keep shooting here. See, that's what I'm talking about. Just shooting it there, I have slide bite. If you can see that right there, got a cut, a little bit of bleed, but that's uh, kind of what, you know, you sacrifice with having such a small compact pistol where, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's gonna get you every now and then, so. Having that gap in between, you know, your left hand and your right hand, it's going to be pretty helpful. How many rounds? Ah, I got one more. Oh, no, no, no. I want to keep shooting it. Man, yeah, the Bodyguard 2.0. Maybe something the FBI could have used. I mean, could have been holstered a lot easier. That's for sure. Ah, oh, miss. And there it is. Slide lock. We are officially out of ammo. But overall, yeah, like, who is this gun for? I think anybody who wants to protect themselves. And is it a good carry gun? Honestly, I really don't know. It's too soon to tell. I do want to get a holster and just carry this, but I do know for how small and compact it is, I mean, it's going to be very easy, very easy to conceal carry. Look at that. You can even see, I think that's my blood. Look at this. I think you can see some of my blood on the beaver tail of that. Oh man, that's gnarly. Yeah. A little bit of blood there. Oh yeah, it's blood. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, what something that I do like about this, and again, it's because it's a 380. Uh, the pistol grip is so slim. Like, if, I don't know if you can see this, but look at that. The profile of this is just super slim, super compact. I mean, it's just a classic grip by Smith and Wesson. But yeah, I'm excited to come out to the range again and keep shooting uh, some rounds through through this guy here. So. 380? I mean, what do you guys think? Would you guys carry something that's 380? I've honestly have never carried anything other than 9 mil, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see what it feels like when you're shooting, or sorry, when you're carrying a 380 pistol like this. So, the Bodyguard 2.0. Is this something you would pick up? Please let me know. We'd love to know your thoughts. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching. This was the first shots out of the Bodyguard 2.0. My initial thoughts, more to come very soon. So with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.